Hello, everyone. How are you? It is Lakidra. How are you, my precious standards? Those of you that have been standing and believing God for the restoration in your house, in your marriage, in your relationships, hallelujah, and for all the promises that God has promised unto you, hallelujah, and we know that all the promises are yes and amen to those that are in Christ Jesus. And you know, I am so excited today, precious people of God, and you might ask, well, Akidra, why? Why are you so excited? Well, I'm excited because I've overcame the devil, hallelujah, and you have overcame him too by the blood of the lamb, hallelujah, and what Jesus Christ done for you on the cross, and that's what we're going to get into today. And for men of you all that are not feeling your best, you know, you may have woke up this morning feeling down and out, you know, because what's going on in your life and you may be feeling defeated. But I'm going to tell you, you are not defeated. You are more than a conqueror through Christ that loves you. You know, the word of God is so powerful. You know, I'm telling you, I'm believing that from here on out, days are going to get better and better for you. You're going to be encouraged. You are going to rise up in the name of Jesus joy is coming into your life and I believe that it's starting on today for many of you all that are listening and you know hearing what the Lord God is about to do for you through his word I'm believing joy is coming back and you're going to be so uplifted and you know it, it's just amazing when you can just think about what God has done for you in spite of what you see because remember we who are in Christ Jesus we walk by faith not by sight we walk by the things we know. We don't go off what we feel. We go off what we believe and know to be the truth. And that is what we know the Lord Jesus Christ done for us already. So the battle has already been won. Receive it today, precious people of God. Let that be what give you joy. Oh, because the word is what brings joy. Trusting in the word of God, hearing the good news is what brings joy. And the joy of the Lord will be your strength. So get joy today. And that's what I pray the word of God do for you. I'm telling you, precious people of God, get ready for what God is doing in your life, what he's about to bring your way. Don't even worry about what you see because it's not about what we see. It's about what we know and believe with all our hearts. And we know one thing, that Jesus Christ came, hallelujah, in his body. His body that became flesh was hung up on that cross for us. And he has given us peace. He has given us peace. He has given us healing. He has given us breakthrough in every area of your life. And you know, this morning I just woke up thanking the Lord, thinking about what he done on the cross. How he had already brought restoration in my home and in my life. You know, I'm telling you, think on good things, just like what Paul says. And you will find the peace of God with you. I know, you know, that may have been an attack. I know some of you may have, not, may have not even slept good last night. But I'm telling you, you can have peace when you fix your thought on what Jesus Christ done for you already. And for many of you all don't know what Christ done for you already, I'm going to share with you on today so that you can have hope and joy and be excited praise the lord but there are some of you all i know already excited because you just know the truth and you and you can just tell the devil devil get behind me i already know the truth your lies don't work and you know the bible tells us that in so many ways hallelujah that the lord has defeated the enemy and you know, before I get into that, I want to thank all my new subscribers. Thank you all so much. And I thank you all for your prayers and all your support and sharing the videos and liking them. I thank you for all that you have done. It is so encouraging to me. So now I want to be a blessing to you. I want to bring this word to you. And I want to start from Revelation chapter 12, hallelujah, verse 11. And many of you all know the verses, but it is vital vital that we hear them again and again and again remember the word of god says let them penetrate into your heart and so we're going to do a reminder again because i want you all to think on what is written 
and not looking at what's going on around you because that's what the enemy wants to do. He wants to take your eyes off of Jesus. But remember, whose mind is stayed up on him, whose eyes is up on him, not looking to the left nor looking to the right, but keeping their eyes up on the Lord, they will walk in peace and strength and faith. And the enemy wouldn't know what to do with you. And you're going to see things manifest in your life. You know, we have overcame the devil by the blood of Jesus. The Bible tells us that in Revelation 12, verse 11. And they overcame him by the blood of the lamb. Talking about Satan. And by the word of their testimony. And they loved not their lives unto the death. Hallelujah, hallelujah. You have already overcame Satan. And you might ask the key to well, how? Well, the Bible tells us through the blood of Jesus, through what he done for you on the cross. Oh, we're going to look at that. It's in Isaiah 53 verse 5. The Bible tells us, but he was wounded for our transgressions. There go all your sins. He was bruised for our iniquity. There go all the wickedness. There go all the wickedness that was in your heart. He was bruised for that. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. Hallelujah. There is now peace that the Lord has given you through him being chastised. And with his stripes, we are healed. Through his stripes, we are healed. There goes your healing. Jesus paid the price for you over 2,000 years ago. He died upon the cross for you. Jesus died and rose again on the third day. So it's done, precious people of God. You who believe in Christ Jesus, your sins has been taken away. All your iniquities, your faults, your transgressions against God the Father, who you were away from, Jesus Christ reconciled you back to him. When you believe upon him, he has now broken the disturbance, the troubles in your life by bringing unto you peace. Whatever sickness, whatever healing that you are in need of today in your heart, in your mind, your body, in your soul, by his stripes you were healed. And I know many of you all need that peace. Peace between you and your husband or your wife precious standard you need peace in your home you need healing in your marriage you need healing and restoration in your soul some of you all in your bodies in the lives of your children whatever it may be salvation has been given unto you through what jesus christ done for you already hallelujah you know that's what i woke up feeling so good about this morning you know because i just think about what jesus already done I think about what he done for me many years ago, way before we was ever even heard of. I'm telling you, it's already been done. And this is how you've overcame the enemy. You waking up every morning, you know, with these troubles on your minds and your hearts. It don't have to be precious people of God. You tell the devil what Jesus done for you. You have peace in your marriage already. Hallelujah. You, your marriage has already been healed. Jesus says, believe you have received it already and it is yours. You take it by faith. You don't have to go off of what somebody says to you. They can't stop what Jesus Christ already done for you. Remember, you are being tried and tested. It's all about who believes what Jesus already done. Then you'll receive it. You'll have your healing in your marriage. You'll have peace between you and your spouse. You'll have, hallelujah, restoration. The love is coming back. Hallelujah. The, oh, the promises are coming back. Well, what are they? Where well, your marriage is now healed. Where well, the husbands can now love their wives as Christ loved the church. Wives are submissive unto their husband. You all are submitting to one another in everything. Now you have the spirit of the Lord. That has been poured out upon you because what Jesus Christ done. Remember, that's what he talks about in John. He says, I'm going away to be with the Father. Otherwise, the Holy Spirit won't come. And we know that he has went away. He's now seated in heavenly places with the Father. When he rose again. Now the Holy Spirit has come. Now he's poured out in our hearts. Bringing salvation 
to you and even your loved ones for you and your whole house the bible says can be saved for the holy spouse the holy wife or the holy husband can bring paul talks about it in first corinthians 7 they bring holiness now to their spouse they bring holiness now to their marriage they bring holiness now to their children all it takes is one in the house hallelujah one in the house to believe and the whole house will be saved through you trusting in restoration because what jesus christ done for you on the cross through you precious people of god trusting in healing and peace to be in your life because what jesus took upon his body for you on the cross you have already overcame the enemy believe that you have received and the promises are yours they are yours the Bible says to those that are in Christ Jesus, to those that believe. The word says that all the promises are yes. Paul says, and amen means that settles it. It's yes and amen. And that's the end of the story. That settles it. Hallelujah. You know, the Bible even talks about it in Colossians 1 verse 20. And through him, God reconciled everything to himself. He made peace with everything in heaven and on earth by means of Christ's blood on the cross. Peace is needed in your home right now. Well, Jesus paid the price for that. Jesus has paid the price for you to have peace in your home. There is now reconciliation between a husband and a wife. There is now there is now peace that can be between you and your loved ones. And we're going to get more into that as well. But I'm telling you, it has already been done. You tell the devil to get behind you because you know what God has done for you already. And this is when you'll see manifestations. It's all about what you believe. That's the only reason why, precious people of God, that these tests have come to you because God wants to challenge your faith your your faith is being challenged the Lord is trying to bring back trying to well actually get you to really see and believe on what he done for you on the cross this is how you will make your own way prosperous and you would have great success and you will see the healing in your life when you take on what he's done for you and so the trials come to see who believes what Jesus done for them on the cross. You know, everything is good to believe so easily when all is well. But what is going to happen when trouble come your way? Are you going to say, well, it must not happen. Jesus didn't die for me on the cross. Look at what's happening in my life. All this wouldn't be happening if, if I wouldn't be seeing these things. Oh, no. See, your faith is being tried. If you truly believe. What Jesus Christ done for you on the cross, these things, is, they shouldn't shake you. I mean, you may be hurt, you may not like what's happening, but all you got to do is focus your thoughts, Paul says, on what is true, what is lovely, what is honorable, what is excellent, what is of a good report, what Jesus Christ done for you, that is what is a good report. And so the peace of God, he says, will be with you. You'll have peace. And the Lord will honor you because of your faith. The Lord will begin to honor you. You will receive what you believe that he has done for you on the cross. Hallelujah. That's how you take it by force. That's how you could tell the devil to get behind you. That, that is, this is what will cause you to press through. This is what will cause you to overcome this world. And all of his troubles and sorrows. And you'll have peace in the midst of them. Nothing will be able to stop you through the blood of Jesus Christ. And you know, that's what many of you all need to say. No, devil, you're a liar. It has already been done. There has been reconciliation between me and my husband. Or between me and my wife. For many of you husbands that are standing. And, and the enemy might say, oh, really? Really? Or you might, you know, have thoughts that challenge you you say oh yes it is the truth because i know what jesus christ done for me on the cross it is written satan for he was wounded he was bruised for my iniquities hallelujah he was bruised for all of my transgressions the chastisements of my peace 
the chastisement of my peace was upon him. And with his stripes, I am healed. My home is healed. My family is healed. My marriage is healed. It doesn't have to be in this moment right now where I can see it, oh devil, but it has already been done. And it's just a matter of time before it comes my way. You have come in my home, devil. You think you're going to challenge me and my faith? You was a liar. I already know what Jesus Christ done. Oh, peace be still. Devil, get behind me. I'm taking my stand. And you see, that's that armor. See, that's that armor. And that's you putting up that shield of faith. By you keeping your eyes on the word of God. It is the whole armor for you. You know, we talked about this on yesterday. I'm telling you, God is with you. For many of you all that, that have not heard my teachings, go, go to them. The one that talks about keeping your armor on. Even the one yesterday, I talked about how God is with you. Go through my channel of videos. I'm telling you, they will bless your life. Replay them. Rehear them. Don't lose sight of what, Je what Jesus Christ done for you. The enemy is looking for a way in. He wants to bombard your mind with all these things to come in and distract you. But remember, count it all joy when when trouble comes your way, James says, because it's just testing your faith, seeing what you believe, making sure you believe. Well, believe what? What Jesus Christ already done for you on the cross. He has already bring reconciliation. The Bible says with everything on earth, it's not just his, not just what has happened in heaven where we have been reconciled back to the father, but marriages are being healed. Husbands and wives, children are reconciled back to their fathers. Hallelujah. Their hearts are, are turned back to their fathers. The Bible talks about it in Malachi. And the father's heart been turned back to their children. Hallelujah. See, all these things was done for you already on the cross. And when you believe this, you'll have peace. You will find that you are going through the storms with peace. Peace that surpasses all understanding by you fixing your thoughts on what has already happened. What Jesus has already done for you. And see, this is why I wake up with joy. This is why I'm able to cast. This is how I cast down all my imaginations that the enemy may try to come with. All the imaginations and the fiery darts of the enemy. And I get my thoughts on what Jesus Christ done. And I'm able to bring into captivity every thought that would try to exalt itself against the will of God for my life. The Bible talks about it in Corinthians. We cast down all the imaginations, all the lies, all the things the enemy has tried to come in and show you and distract you with. Or the spouse that's you know, you may see acting up or the words that were spoken or the divorce, whatever has happened. You have already overcame it by the blood of the lamb. Jesus has already brought peace in your home. I'm going to tell you something. Look at it. In, we're going to look at it again in Ephesians chapter 2, verse 14. The Bible says, for Christ himself has brought peace to us. He united the Jews and Gentiles into one people when in his own body on the cross, he broke down the wall of hostility that separated us. See, the Lord God even broke down the wall that separated the Jews and the Gentiles. There was hostility between them. But the Bible says Jesus broke down that wall. And the Bible says he did this in verse 15 by ending the system of law with its commandments and regulations. He made peace between Jews and Gentiles by creating in himself one new people from the two groups. Together as one body, Christ reconciled both groups to God by means of his death on the cross and our hostility toward each other was put to death. So if Christ put to death all the hostility and the enmity between the Jews and the Gentiles through what he done for them on the cross. Don't you think that he has done the same thing for you, precious people of God, between you and your spouse, where there has been enmity, separation, 
hostility, divorce. Don't you think the blood has done the same thing for you? When Jesus was hung up on the cross, don't you think he put that same thing to death for you? Hallelujah. Between you and your husband or between you, wives or husbands, between you and your wives? He has put to death all the hostility and enmity that Satan has come in with to bring division, to break up the homes, to break up marriages. If God done this for the Jews and the Gentiles, nations of people around the world, what you think he'll do in a home between a loved one and a marriage? If he has brought strangers together and made them one and be like-minded and brought peace between them to cut out all the division and the fights that the laws brought in through Moses' laws under the old law, that is what separated the Jews and the Gentiles. It was the law. And the Bible says Jesus came to tear down that wall of all these commandments and regulations where the Jews didn't want to have anything to do with the Gentiles. And the Gentiles were away from God because of these laws. But Jesus said, I've came to make peace. I've came to recon reconcile them back to the Father. I'm breaking down this wall of division. I'm fixing it now to where they can come together and be one. See, the Lord is against division. And he's certainly against it in the homes. Jesus, through his body, put all these things to death. And that's what you, many of you all need to tell the enemy. Get behind me, Satan. Jesus has put this mess that you're trying to bring in my home and my marriage to death on the cross. When he died for us. Get behind me, Satan. There is peace in my house. I don't care what it looks like, devil. You are behind me. I know this is just a test trying to see if I believe what God done for me already on the cross. And I certainly do, devil. So get behind me. You could bring what you want. You could try to break me down all you want. But the Lord God is going to put it in my husband's heart and in his mind with his spirit to love me as Christ loved the church. Well, why? Because he's bringing to us peace. Because he done it for us on the cross in his body. He was chastised for our peace. And I declare that peace is in my marriage. I declare that peace is in my home. I declare that peace is in my children. I declare that there is reconciliation between us through the Lord Jesus Christ. I don't care if there's been some doctrines of devils. I don't care if there's been deception. The Lord God says I'm able to break down the wall. And, and in fact, I've already done it. I've nailed all these things on the cross in my body. It was put to death. If the, enemy might, if, it, if the enemy might say, well, when? Oh, he done it, devil, when he was hung up on the cross over 2,000 years ago. I don't go off what I feel. I go off what I know to be true. I don't go off what I see. I go off what I believe. Hallelujah. You know, the Bible tells us that in Mark, in Mark 11, we don't win over these verses, precious people of God, but you know it, it is important that we go over them again. The Lord God tells us in verse 22, then Jesus says to the disciples, have faith in God. I tell you the truth. You can say to this mountain, may you be lifted up and thrown into the sea and it will happen. But you must really believe it will happen and have no doubt in your heart. I tell you, you can pray for anything. And if you believe that you've received it, it will be yours. Hallelujah. See, you've received it already through what Jesus Christ done for you on the cross. All you have to do is just ask and say, Lord, I need this reconciliation in my home and in my marriage through what you've done for me on the cross. Lord God, you paid the price for me to have peace. Lord God, let there be reconciliation. Let there be peace between me and my loved one. And the Lord is going to say, well, it is yours because you believe what I've done for you already on the cross. It is yours. And let me tell you something. That'll bring so much peace in your life. You will be putting your feet on the devil. You will be treading on serpents and scorpions. You will be treading on them and they wouldn't be able to harm you. Nothing would be able to harm you. The word of God 
The cross is what gives you power and victory over your enemy. This is how you overcame him, the devil, by the blood of Jesus, by what you have known to be true and what he's done for you on the cross. Stop looking around, precious people of God, looking for signs over here and signs over there. Believe what Jesus Christ done for you. You know, that is what happened in John with Thomas. You all know the story about Thomas. In verse 24, I'm going to read it to you. I'm going to start there. We're going to see Thomas was the same way. He had to see everything. He couldn't believe unless he saw things happening in the natural. Look at what it says. I'm going to read it to you all. In John, verse 24, chapter 20. One of the 12 disciples, Thomas, nicknamed the twin, was not with the others when Jesus came. They told him, we have seen the Lord. But he replied, I won't believe it unless I see the nail wounds in his hands. Put my fingers into them and place my hand into the wound in his side. Eight days later, the disciples were together again. And this time, Thomas with them. The doors were locked. But suddenly, as before, Jesus was standing among them. Peace be with you, he said. Then he said to Thomas, put your finger here and look at my hands. Put your hand into the wound in my side. Don't be faithless any longer. Believe. My Lord and my God, Thomas exclaimed. Then Jesus told him, you believe because you have seen me. Blessed are those who believe without seeing me. You see, Thomas was someone who had to see everything. He says, you know, I'm not going to believe that Jesus rose from the dead until I can see the nail prints in his hands, until I can put my hands in his side where he was wounded, until I can see all these things. I will not believe it. I won't believe what you all are telling me. But the Lord came to Thomas. He said, Thomas, don't be faithless any longer believe so you only believe now Thomas because you have seen and you see that that is what so many of, of our faith you know that that's so many of, of where our faith is today no precious people of God no it's time that your faith be strong in the Lord it's time that you really focus and trust and believe Jesus said we walk by faith, not by sight. See, many of you all not going to believe until you see your marriage healed. That's not faith. That's not faith. See, when you believe because of what you heard and know to be truth and believe from the word of God, not based off of what you've seen, but because of what you believe, that's what you call faith. Because of what you believe, even when you have not yet seen. But the Bible says faith is the substance. Faith is the substance. It's the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things that are not seen. If you got to see it, that's not faith. Faith is when you're walking. Hallelujah. By faith and not by sight. You're walking by what you believe the word has said. You're, you're, you're believing based off of what you have heard from the word of God. When you know the Lord Jesus Christ, when you know what he has done for you on the cross, you'll believe that he, he, he has given you everything else. Hallelujah. Jesus said, see, you believe because you have seen Thomas, but blessed are those who believe without seeing me. Blessed are those who believe without seeing me. That's what you call faith. That's what you call having your trust in the Lord Jesus Christ. And the Lord says, they are the ones who will receive. Those who believe that they have received already, not because of what's in their hands, not because, you know, the spouse have come home and, and you all are loving one another again. No, it's because of the peace you already know. That the Lord God has given you. It's because 
of the reconciliation through what Jesus Christ already done for you on the cross, you know that you and your spouse has been rec reconciled already. And the manifestations will come your way. This is what you call faith in the word of God. And so a lot of you all are being tried. Many of us, and, and me included, we are being tried in our faith through these situations. The Lord is trying to see who truly believes what he has done for them already and you will have whatsoever you say you will have whatsoever you ask for when you get your eyes off of what this world is bringing your way today and get your eyes back on the cross you have already overcame satan by the blood of the lamb and the word hallelujah of god and the peace of god will be with you when you think upon the cross and say oh no Oh no, Jesus paid the price for me. It is already written. It has already been done. And that settles it. Satan, get behind me. And I'm telling you, God is going to say, wow, that's what you call faith. I mean, this is faith. You know, that's what he told the satirian. The satirian say, just send the word, Lord God. You don't have to come to my house and lay your hands on my servant. I believe you. I believe upon you. I believe you are who you say you are. And the Lord, hallelujah, say, wow, I've never seen such faith, faith like this in, in all of Israel. I tell you, this, this Gentile believes more than my own people. And the Lord God say, it is done. And guess what? His servant was healed that very hour, the Bible says. Hallelujah. That man just believed. He had faith in God. Faith comes by hearing and by hearing and by hearing. Hallelujah. Getting your eyes open getting your ears open being enlightened by the word of god you have faith when you hear the word of god when you don't lose sight of them when you meditate on them day and night let them speak to your heart and your mind getting your eyes off of what you're seeing it's just a distraction speaking the word of god out of your mouth and you'll have joy you'll have joy you'll have peace you won't be disturbed you will find you are healed. You will find that you are strong in the Lord and walking in the power of his might. I'm telling you, that's the key. Get your eyes back on the cross. Get your eyes fixed on the Lord. Praise the Lord. And now I'm going to pray. Lord, I thank you for everyone that has heard on today your word. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for what you have done for each and every one of us already. Thank you that homes are healed. Thank you for peace. Thank you for reconciliation. Thank you for love. Thank you, Lord Jesus, that you're putting in the spouses, the heart of flesh, a tender heart. As you promised in your word, Lord God, under the new covenant in Hebrews 8, you said, Lord God, no man would need to force them to love you. No man would need to make them, for they will already know you because you'll put it in their hearts. You'll put your commandments in their minds. You're causing wives. You're causing wives to be submissive unto their husbands and husbands to love their wives as Christ loved the church because you have brought peace in the homes through your body, through your chastisement, through what you suffered for us. Thank you. It has already been done. Thank you, Lord God, for the peace. Thank you. We have already overcame the devil by your blood. We give you the praise and we thank you for it thank you for marriages being healed and homes right now in jesus holy name and all the people of god says amen and amen and amen and that settles it precious people of god remember god love you and he has already paid the price receive it on today and until next time remember god loves you and i love you too bye bye